New surveillance video of a violent robbery at a post office in the Bronx. A suspect lying in wait exits a car appearing to hold a weapon and runs up to a postal worker who was opening the Castle Hill branch this morning and pistol whipped her. He then got away with more than $100,000 in cash and boxes and boxes of money orders. Kimberly Richardson is live outside the bank with details. The post office. Well, Chade, the victim. Well, Sade, the victim was the only one here this morning to open up this post office. It is small, maybe two or three employees at a time. There is no security. All things the suspects seem to know. Going to work, you need to feel secure. That's, that's the bottom line. That is not what happened here at this post office on Castle Hill Avenue. We're there. You see an armed suspect get out of a minivan and a short time later, right there, leave carrying a bag. Inside, sources tell Eyewitness News roughly $112,000 in cash, 10 boxes of money orders, and a machine used to print those money orders. The brazen morning robbery unfolded just as the 56 year old victim there holding an umbrella was heading to work to open up for the day. It was right around 7, her husband by her side to make sure she was okay. The couple partially opened up the metal gate. He assumed she's okay and doubles back across the street. Then, out of nowhere, the suspect makes his move. At gunpoint, forced the employee back into the post office. Her sister was horrified. I saw it on social media, and then I started calling her and then I couldn't get through. The victim's husband saw his wife was in trouble, ran back to help, but the suspect turned the gun on him. The two struggled before the suspect took off. Hours later, the victim's husband was still inside, talking with investigators as friends wonder why security is not in place. Some facilities are 24 hours. You don't have to worry about that, but in this particular case, this is a small finance station, and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's anything could happen. And we're told no one was seriously hurt at this hour. This joint investigation between the FBI, NYPD, and Postal Police, it is ongoing.